Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you here because I can finally share all my tips about packing light and backpacking, about everything that I know and that I learned in the past four years backpacking. And I'm actually traveling tomorrow to Australia for a few months. I need to pack, this is my actual packing. So it's a great example so that you guys can see what I bring, what I don't on a long trip, not just like a two week trip. And don't worry, I'm gonna link everything down on my Amazon page so you can actually like get everything right away and go backpacking. Let's get things started. I feel like I'm going to say backpack a lot, backpack, backpack. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I only use backpacks, like I never use actual like suitcases. And if you're in between one or the other, I 100% recommend you choose a backpack. I understand that you may want a suitcase, but having a backpack is so much more comfortable, so much easier, and you will actually realize once you're traveling. Elsa, what backpack do you use? I actually just bought this randomly four years ago. It was the cheapest option, and I just bought it because it was pink. Like, literally, that's it. I didn't check about the liters. I didn't check if it was comfortable or not. I just bought it because it was pink. And I think that's what you should do, too. People actually worry too much about what kind of backpack. Like, does it have transpiration? Does it have, like, resistance to, I don't know, grass? I don't even know, whatever. Grass. And I really recommend just getting a simple one with literally no compartments, just a big hole. The one I have is Cabin Zero. I think it's about 40 liters. I have no idea about the whole liter system. It's on your cabin and the airplane, so I don't have to pay extra fees. And because I know so many backpackers with a budget that spend so much money on baggage fees. So just to avoid like these hundreds of dollars, get a small one. And you really don't need as much clothes as you might think. The reason I say that it doesn't matter if it's comfortable or not, the world backpacking, you don't get to carry it that much. I know that before traveling you think, oh my god, I'm going to like walk around the whole Vietnam with my backpack on, like it has to be very comfortable, but that doesn't happen. The only time you actually put your backpack on your back is when you're carrying it to the transportation to go to the next hostel or maybe just walking around for a few minutes. So you're not gonna be like hours and hours tracking with your backpack. If you wanna trek, just leave your big backpack on your hostel and carry a small one. That's simple. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you all the tips right now. I want you to realize the importance of having this next item. So I have countless of them. This is a bag full of packing cubes and I have all kinds. My favorites are these yellow ones. I'm not sure about the brand, but I'm gonna link them also. I've tried so many different packing cubes and the ones I'm linking are actually ones that I trust. You're gonna organize all your clothes and all your items and then be able to put it on your backpack. The reason why you're gonna do this is because if you actually put every single item like loose on your suitcase, then you're not gonna find anything. You actually really need packing cubes. Game changer. Okay, so now we have our backpack, we have our packing cubes. What's missing? It's missing the actual clothes because I know that you wanna look fly on your trip. I really wanna look good for my pictures on Instagram, look good for myself, but still, I wanna pack light. So how do I do it, Elsa? Like, tell me how do I do this? This is a struggle. Get everything that I'm actually interested in bringing. Right now, it's all of these pants, all of these crop tops, these tops. Like, this is too much. I'm going for a couple months, so like two, three months. So if you think about it, it's not that much, but I wanna reduce it because I don't wanna be carrying stuff. I know that every time I travel, I regret so much bringing half of the clothes that I bring. And once you're traveling, it's gonna be too late to change your mind. It's better if you get it right the first time. Some terminology going. We're gonna do burritos in this video. We're gonna do little burritos, little tight burritos that they're going to be on your backpack. So we're just gonna roll every single item you own. That's the first way of knowing what to bring and what not to bring. I absolutely adore these pants. They look amazing, but let's see if it passes the burrito test. This length is very important after when packing. So you wanna make it very slim. This part is going out, so instead of keep rolling, I just fold it here. It's super tight. And this is your burrito. Can you see how cute this is? This is like one quarter of my backpack, so this failed the burrito test. And if I love this piece, I'm not going to be able to bring it. So, bye. Jeans, jeans are a big problem when traveling. I really don't recommend bringing jeans. The burrito test fails it over and over and over. Another good tip for selecting your clothes, like what you're bringing, is does it look good when it's dirty? Does it look good when it's wrinkled? And is it comfortable? And are you gonna use it more than one time? So the perfect example. Uh, it actually looks better when it's wrinkled. It looks kind of cool when it's dirty. And it's very light, guys. This is the burrito. They have to be 
basic, they have to be comfy and all of that. So for example, I said this is a yes, for me I really like it. Let's see with what it combines. It combines perfectly with this denim skirt, I really love it actually. It combines perfect with this. So yeah, this is a 100% yes t-shirt. Basic t-shirts are the best. You can wear it normally and if you actually want to look cute, you can always like tie it or you can, you know, you can, you can play with it. Crop tops are the best because they really don't occupy anything. They pass the bonito test by far and you can put them anywhere. You can even put them inside of your shoes. Shoe talk. I know we all want to bring a lot of shoes. Just bring maximum two pairs. Super comfortable that you're gonna wear every single day. So they have to be like very basic color, either black or white. First of all, I'd rather not bring any clothes but bring medicine. Medicine is so important while you're traveling, especially if you're traveling long term. So for example, well, some of the things that I 100% bring, I always bring two of these. It's a bandage, but it's like wet. I bring this since uh, Philippines because I had a motorcycle accident. And the hospital that I, they took me to, they actually just put bandages on my open wounds. And every time they had to change them, they had to like literally take up. Er it was terrible. Like I don't wanna, yeah. So my dad brought some of these to the hospital in Philippines when he came over to take care of me. And ever since I don't want to risk it ever again. So I always bring this melatonin and it's perfect if you have jet lag, you just take one of these pills and it just restores all your jet lag hormones of your body, I don't know. Bring basic ibuprofen, bring things specific to you. So for example, I always get anginas, like this thing. So I'm bringing my antibiotics, a lot of band-aids. You're gonna get food poisoning, 100%, and that's fine, as long as you're prepared for it. There's something in the water, something, just bring suero. When you get sick, you just put in a bottle of water and drink it throughout the day, and the next day you're gonna be fine. Bring a power bank. 100% you will need it, you will get stuck so many times without battery, and sometimes it's in scary situations, so you don't wanna risk it. Face mask. Let me see if I can put it on my face, actually. Uh, this is amazing, not only for the planes, but for hostel. Maybe someone at 3 a.m. decides to turn on the light, and that's your right. So you'll have this and you'll not know this. This is my Bible, guys. This is literally my Bible. I have so many of these from my four years of traveling. So nice after looking back at memories. I literally stick my Polaroid pictures. I draw stuff, I stick my receipts, my flights, my... I don't know. And actually it's very good mentally because sometimes you live through so much while traveling that you don't even realize and putting it down in words actually will help you mentally. A laundry bag, just any kind of bag. I like one that... Ooh, a sock. Okay. These towels are the best. I usually... well... I try not to bring towels because they take up a lot of space but these ones are actually so small it's wet and all that you just like put it on top and it will dry in hostels they always have towels if you pay a little bit extra the camera that I'm filming this with which is the Canon 5D which I linked below uh, it's great quality for pictures I also bring this one just for my scrapbook and my journal my Sony action camera which I also uh, linked and it's amazing quality, it's so good. Guys, I know some of you are gonna laugh at this, my brother laughs at this, but lately I've been bringing this sponge everywhere with me. Imagine, right now, you're in Bali, okay, you're in Bali. You put sunscreen on, everywhere on. You walked on the beach and now you have sand on your legs. You go to the ocean, you refresh, you play, you go back, you put your shirt or your dress on, you get the bike, you go to the hostel and you shower. Imagine using this to like take all the sunscreen out and like take all the sand out. It's just life changing. Honestly, it's really good. I once met a pilot and he told me that he hated when travelers like, carry the uh, pillow, but honestly, I don't get why. Like, and I've been traveling with this brand, Cabo, and it's a little expensive. It's like 40 pounds, I think, which is an investment. If you can touch it, oh, the... it's just put it here and then like this and then. Here, everything essential for the plane. I have a ibuprofen here, just in case. This heating mask, which I bought in the day, which is like this one, but it actually heats up and it smells like lavender. Two kind of things. Earplugs and earphones. iPhone cable. I have a three meter one, and that's the best thing you can do. Okay, I'm only bringing this because I lost my carabiner. I don't know if I pronounced it right or wrong, but carabiner, I don't know. Imagine my backpack is full, or imagine my clothes are wet. Well, I would get the carabiner and I would just like hook it up, easy. So it just hangs out, you know? I always travel uh, with my AirPods. Obviously, they're, yeah, that's a mess. 
that's why I like this because I don't have to deal with this. We plug it on the plane to watch movies and all that. I always bring pens to write on visas or to write whatever documents you have to write uh, when landing on the plane. I love using this tripod kind of thing, this selfie thingy. You can put your big camera on like a Canon. You can actually put your iPhone and like film like this. And I also take it underwater when I scuba dive. I bring this, which is such a discovery. I was so happy when I discovered this. You literally put your SD card here and you connect it to your iPhone and all the camera pictures go direct to your iPhone without needing to pass um, through the computer. A locker is very important. If you're traveling to hostels, put this together. Hostels usually have lockers but they don't have the lock, so you can just use it. Money, even if you're traveling with your credit cards, always bring cash, always hide it in like very weird spaces. So for example, in socks, if you're a woman, like inside a pad or inside a tampon, or I don't know, on your sunglasses case. One question that I get asked a lot is how do I take pictures when I'm traveling solo? This little thing right here, besides selfies. So you put your camera with your tripod, like it's right now, and you press here and it will take a picture for you. Always bring a little bag. I usually bring like a little backpack that you, it's like compressible and it ends up being a ball, so you can just hang it whatever. Every single person that has seen me travel with this has laughed at the beginning and after it they have said, oh my god, where do you get it? Like after a few days, because they're so obsessed with it as much as I am. So this only, if you have a lot of extra space in your backpack, Alexa, stop music. I'm actually so disappointed right now. Please like this video so I don't feel that bad. <gasps> okay. Aww. Okay, so this is the thing that I was talking about. A power socket. Uh, bring it if, you're, if you have a lot of electronics like me. Because hostels usually just have one power socket per bed. Or even in the whole room. So you're go this is going to be a lifesaver. Get it here and just start shaking it, start shaking it. Literally everything on your backpack is going to go down and you're gonna have a huge space right here to put whatever you need. Leave this space here in case I wanna write something while I'm editing that I forgot to mention. So remember this because if I wrote them is that it's important and I do remember so you should.